Hi guys, Tammy from Tucson here. Welcome to my first ever Lange hair video. Lange is a line of products um, and hair tools I've been using for a while now and I absolutely love them. I want to jump right in because your time is precious and so is mine. I'm actually at work so if I have to hop off the video and sort of come back to it, I will. But I'm in my back studio of my little boutique here in Tucson and I want to jump right in. I love Lange. Um, of course, I'll link all the products I use and sort of give you all the details. Whether you're finding me on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you're on my um, Tammy's Best Lifestyle blog.com, of course, um, go in, like all the content, let's be friends, subscribe, and you'll find all the details about all the products I'm using. But today, I just want to jump right in. I've never used the bubble wand um, from the LaSync set from Lange before, but I really, really want to try it for the first time with you guys. So if this is an epic failure, We'll find out. Now I have super short hair. I'm not sure if you can tell, but like one side's even a little shorter than the other. And believe it or not, I've been trying to grow it out a little bit just so that I could use some of the tools. I use the flat iron to curl my hair um, once, twice a week. And I, you know, try to spend a couple of days um, in between washes for my hair. So three, four days, and I do lots of fun things with hats and scarves to kind of get me in the in-between days. But first off, I wanted to let you know before I um, get started curling my hair, I use the Thicket Cream, which I don't have with me right this second, but I will, of course, put the um, information up. It's a Thicket Cream. My hair is typically very um, thin. I have a lot of thin hair. It does not hold curl well, and it's typically quite flat. So I wanted to create a little bit of volume for today. Um, normally I would want to do my videos on days where my hair is a little bit dirtier. So like second or third day that I, sorry, let me silence my phone. Second or third day that I haven't washed my hair, but as fate would have it, I washed it this morning and I want to do the video. So here we go. And then I put in a little bit of the sea salt and texturizing spray. This smells really good. I don't use a lot of it. I feel like it makes my hair quite um, wet and actually I like to use it on my wet hair and sort of let it dry and then um, this is my favorite product of all the products and it's a heat shield I really think this protects my hair from getting damaged especially when I'm using these hot tools so I just go in with the rival heat shield and I just I sort of spray it and then just kind of just a little on the parts that I think need it I don't think you need a ton of this but of course I don't I don't know if it will really necessarily hurt your hair if you put, you know, a lot. I, this is actually really interesting because I love it as a heat shield, but it actually adds quite a bit of volume as well. So you can kind of, and it does make your hair a little bit damp. So just make sure you're kind of, I don't know if you want to put in the heat shield and then blow dry. I don't typically blow dry my hair, let it air dry. I don't know. That's just a preference. Um, I don't think it looks horrible straight, so sometimes I can get away with having mom duties and dropping the kids off with straight hair and then getting to a place where I can sort of, and look at that, even that product, the heat shield, just adds so much volume. And I'm just running my fingers through my hair so I can get it to dry before I put the, okay, and like I said, I've never used the bubble wand. I'm super excited, and all the gals that have used it or I've seen use it on YouTube, um, do so and they have like long hair and I'm super jealous but I'm gonna be honest I I had really long hair all through my um through my teen years and most of my 20s and I just wasn't spending any time doing it I was just like putting it in a ponytail and I didn't have a lot of attitude I'm just letting this heat shield sort of dry and as it dries it's, it's kind of got this like almost a texturizing feel. It, it certainly allows the curl. I could see how the heat shield's gonna protect your hair and also allow it to like grip your hair, or not grip, but um, allow the heat to sort of grip onto it. It's kind of creating this like texture so that if you have fine hair like me, you get a little bit of hold. So the LaSync um, set is actually five different tools in one. Let me grab my, without knocking over all my stuff. So it comes in this really cool case um, by Lange and it, it's like a traveling case if you can see it. And you open it up and it has five different tools that connect 
So here's one, and this is a tapered, um, so it creates like a, a different, a tapered curl, which is really cool. Most of these I haven't used yet. This is just like a straight wand. And let's see what else is in here. And then we have, of course, the bubble wand, which I'll use, and then like a thick, a thick wand, very thick. I don't know exactly. So you get this really cool carrying case, and you get all these different tools in the Lysink to curl your hair. And then I'll show you the base. Oh, in a moment. And then you get this really cool base and there's a, um, a lock and an unlock and you just put the top on. My cord is a little short, so if I have to move over um, to curl, then we will. But let's just get started. And I don't exactly know, they come with this really great um, glove to protect your fingers, but I think I'm just gonna try it without. I have these nails on and with the glove, I feel like I don't really get the sensation to hold on to my hair, especially when it's super short. So let's just take a piece and see what we're working with here. Hopefully my, I'm just, oh, and I already burnt myself. Maybe I should have used the <laughs> glove. Hey you, I'm doing a video. Oh, you're okay. Come say hi. I didn't want to the video. Well, that's okay. Okay, look at that curl. Oh, fun. Okay, and so I knew sort of with short hair, these were going to be really um, different sort of curls, and that's what I wanted. I wanted different. Hey, Gran. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Good. Good. Oh, wow, you look awesome. Thank you. I told y'all y'all I was here at work, so you'll have to probably gonna have lots of traffic. Oh, that's pretty. And of course I don't want perfect curls. I just want curls that look sort of natural and that are fun. Yeah, I made coffee, so feel free to Would you like some? No, thank you. I have a little bit. You're doing a video and we're you're talking to me? Yeah. Both way. Nice. Yeah. Will you do me a favor and shut that door? Yes, I will. You can hear that. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to do a few. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these are just really, um, what's the word? Kind of like, um... They're not curl curls, but they're volume curls. So they're adding some texture and some fun. And I'm just going through, there's no rhyme or reason. I know that a lot of the gals that do their hair have a really methodical way of doing it. I don't. I do my hair the way that I can do my hair. I'm, I'm sort of, I, I'm not too tied into the way that it has to be done or the way that works for other people. Because let's be honest, I mean, a lot of the hair videos are a little bit intimidating. You know, I can't necessarily do them the way everyone else does, but I can certainly try to do it the way that I want to do it. And and, I, and for this one even, I'm just going to go underneath and kind of get, oop, that fell over. And like I said, I'm not tied into like, I don't have any image of how I want this to look other than I just think it it's super fun to have like different hair tools and different things you can try out and we're just gonna see how it looks. I like to experiment with my hair and do also, and I have a lot of different layers. So this is probably gonna come out just with certain pieces that aren't as curled as others and certain pieces that I have to go over a few times and that's okay. Cause I feel like with this tool, I'm going to be able to do my hair very quickly and just without having to, look how fun. It's almost like, dare I say, it's almost like not crimping my hair, but sort of. Like it's just adding like some different dimension to it. And I really like how funky they are. It, they're not, you know, necessarily the, a true curl in the sense that they're super uniform, but I like that. And I feel like on short hair, this bubble wand might be ideal for that sort of beachy look. And I think that's actually what I'm getting here is this sort of like beach waves that I can kind of 
create myself. Now, based off everybody else, I'm sure there are some gals out there like, you're not holding the wand right, you're not doing this right, you're not doing that right. And you're probably right. But like I said, I do it the way I can do it. And I feel like with these tools, they give you a large breath to sort of try and do it the way you can do it and then fine tune it. Because I, I can't always hold it and then point it down. And that's just not the way my arms and hands and wanna do things. And I feel like, so what? I mean, yeah, maybe your curls last a touch longer, but you know, you try, you learn, <laughs> you go, you move on from there. And I'm not too, like I said, I'm not too worried about like some of these pieces that are going to be back here that are just going to do their own thing because I'm really going for a more, um, just kind of fun look. I'm not necessarily going for Actually, and for this one, I think I probably should try to do it with my other hand. I'm not, you know, I typically curl with my left hand and let's see how I can do this. Just give me a second here. Okay, I think if I don't try to do it, I see. I told you, it's harder than you think when you're not dominant on the one hand and you are the other, but let's see if I can get it here. And mostly these pieces are going to be swept back anyway, so it's okay if they're going the wrong way. Oh, sweet. That's actually really cute. Okay. And I'm just going to... I'll do the back last. I know that you're thinking like, wow, she really has no rhyme or reason when it comes to her hair. And you would be right, because I, I really don't. I don't attempt to do it in sort of any particular way. I just do it the way I see it. Um, and sometimes I see it where I'll want to do pieces in the back and I'll want to do pieces in the front. And based off what I feel, and normally you can kind of feel which pieces haven't been curled and which have. I'm not necessarily measuring the pieces of my hair either, like how big they are. Um, I seem to be taking rather large pieces and they seem to be doing the trick. Like look how cool. They're just like fun curls. They're not serious curls. I love this. I like the way that they're coming together because I feel like, like I said, this would be really great for festival days or beach days or out, you know, when you're going to be outside a lot and sort of the elements already affect your hairstyle so much that something like this where it's just like fun and not necessarily too serious is really cool. I always spend a lot of time on the front because that's what people see. <laughs> but um, of course, don't necessarily neglect the back of your head, but it's not going to be something that concerns me as much. If you haven't tried Lange before, they're amazing. They do the best hair tools I've found ever. <laughs> and like I said, I use their um, reparative shampoo and conditioner. And once you get started, you're just going to want everything from them. Um, I use their, I think it's, I forget which of the flat irons I have um, that I use. Near, I should know because I use it every single, almost every single time I curl my hair because the flat iron doesn't I don't have to hold the ends like I do with this one I feel like with this one um, there's just a lot of hair that comes out of off the wand because it, my hair is so layered but with the flat iron I you know I can just roll it and curl it and I don't have to hold it so close and I don't have a fear of burning myself <laughs> probably heard this before but so much of doing your hair is, is training your hair so I sort of had to spend some time training my hair to be curled and, and hold a curl I think the less you play with your hair the less you put your hands and fingers through it the better although I tend to do it um, play with my hair a lot so <laughs> 
It's a wonder that I ever get to keep a curl whatsoever. I really, really, really like this. It's so not uniform. And the back of my hair is super short, so I'm not even sure if I'm gonna attempt to curl that. I think I'm just gonna let it be, to be honest with you. And then I'll just come in here because I could probably get away with not curling it and just letting it be because I put in the thicket cream and it might just have enough body to sort of hold, we'll have to see. I feel like a lot of women put a lot of pressure on themselves to have it look perfect and be perfect. Um, and I've done my hair in two minutes and gone out and I've gotten so many compliments and then I'll spend you know an hour doing it and I won't get a single compliment so <laughs> I feel like what's the difference you know you just kind of your hair's supposed to be fun and not not necessarily work like I said I had really long hair for a really long time and that was I felt like curling it was such work because I didn't have the right tools and it was never holding a curl and so I'd spend 45 minutes curling really long hair nearly down to my nearly down to past my rib cage almost to my booty was my hair you know it was just really long and so I once I cut it I was just liberated and then Lange came out with these amazing tools and I was like, oh man. No, I love I love my short hair. Actually, this is kind of long for me, this length. Normally it's much shorter than this um, and I love it. It just seems like it, I can do more with it, which sounds counterintuitive, but it's not. I can curl my hair and style my hair and it will stay because of that shorter length and I, and I love that. But it, let's be honest, it's not like, you know, it's not the shortest hair ever. At one point I had, it was like really, really, really short. So I'm just kind of going through and piecing out some pieces. This would be a super fast hairstyle if I wasn't talking to y'all and could concentrate. I'm gonna try to keep the video just a few minutes longer. So, and then kind of show you what it looks like. but I'm really liking these curls and like how different it is. And I might actually, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I was saying I might actually leave these straight, but I think I'll go ahead and just get a few more of these done. Cause if I'm gonna leave part of it PC and part of it not, you're kind of thinking like, how do I want it to look? But let's just see. I think probably with the bubble wand, the smaller the pieces that you use, the better. But let's be honest, it looks like it will do any sort of size or... <laughs> Ooh, that one was nice, okay. Do y'all like my earrings? Aren't they cute? My ear swag. That's why I do. <laughs> of course, they'll be posted on the website. You can scoop them up. They're part of my Tammy and Tucson um, boutique finds. So I own a little boutique here in Tucson, Arizona, which if you watch any of my other videos, you sort of know. Um, but yeah, I'm able to get some really cool things that I like to post on, the, on my Tammy and Tucson lifestyle blog as well. So... It's like a twofer, threefer. I'm almost done here. Oh, okay, I might just leave that one kind of funky because I don't mind it so much. Okay. Now, I don't know if y'all can see me in the mirror, so let me just turn around and kind of get a couple of these top pieces. Maybe they'll just kind of curl a little, just to add little bit of volume and probably next time I use the bubble wand and I'm doing the back of my hair I will use the glove because I feel like that would be really great to protect my fingers and just not have as much 
fear about how it's going to look. I actually really like this. Look how cool. I got a little couple flyaways, but that's okay. This is awesome. Oops. I lost the grip on that one. <laughs> I'll post a video in the next, um, probably later this week, of my how I curl my hair with a flat iron so you can see how that looks as well because that's really my more my go-to hairstyle. But I was really excited. I've had the Le Sync set for a while, and um, I would say at least two or three months, and I really hadn't had a chance to use the bubble wand, or really hadn't taken the time to use it. So I just wanted to use it today. I, hadn't, I didn't do my hair, and I thought, gosh, what a perfect day to try to use the bubble wand. And like I mentioned before, I curled my hair solely off of feel, so I don't really know, um, I don't use a, you know, look in a mirror and then try to find every single strand I didn't get. For back here, I'm just adding a little bit of volume and just a little bit of texture. Um, I don't have high hopes that these are going to be really defined curls because it's so short. I hope y'all can hear me. I'm sorry. My, um, and I hope I'm <coughs> centered. Oops, that was my chair. I hope I'm centered for the video and that you can see what I'm kind of, I'm just letting it create a little bit of volume back there on those pieces and then, but I'm not that hopeful that it's gonna be perfect curls or anything. Okay, and that's it. I am done using the bubble wand from, yeah, I am. I'm gonna let it be a little bit like loose, a little bit funky. Yeah, that's it. So this has been a video for Lange's bubble wand in the listing set. I'm at 22 minutes and some odd seconds. So that's cool. I think what I'm gonna do is just for a little bit more volume, add a touch of dry shampoo. You can do this before, after you style, but for me, I just think it, it adds such great volume and fun, and I just kinda put it in my hair and then let it, okay, and then I'm gonna shape it. And I want that piece over there, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna kind of, perfect. And then, of course, the hairspray. Let me just see if I can get this to kind of do what I want it to. And I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to play with it too much because it will all fall out. But Oh, isn't that fun? I can't wait to play with this a little more, the bubble wand, and do more videos and kind of show what I can do with it because I feel like it's really a fun tool for your hair. Perfect. All right. Oh. I like this um, Lange hairspray. It has different settings, um, light, medium, and heavy. And I usually do the light. I don't feel like I have to do um, the heavy very often unless I'm just really trying to do like an intricate updo with short hair or something like that. But for the most part, I feel like I can get away with just doing the I kind of just let this fall where it may and look at that I dig this I think this is really fun and I didn't have to do every little tiny piece to feel like my hair was finished I just want to kind of ooh Cool, look at all those different, like, this is definitely, I would say this is definitely beachy. I feel like this looks like you just come out of the salt water and, or been around the salt water. And I'll kind of turn. Gotta love a swivel chair. <laughs> okay, that's it, y'all. So um, like and subscribe if you're finding me on YouTube. And of course, 
you're finding me on the lifestyle blog, let's be friends. You'll be notified when I put up new videos. And in just a little bit momentarily, I'm going to do a um, my first ever boxy charm unboxing. So look for that to go up very soon. Okay, guys. Bye.